بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وأصلي وأسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين. Tonight we are starting the book of الورقات. So this is the book that I'm starting. Part of the one of the books that I'm reading for the students of Masjid Dawa. And also, this book is one of the Usul Fiqh Kitab, the foundation of the Fiqh that we teach in Islamic University of Minnesota. So, we are with the help of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, I will read the book in Arabic and English, explaining in English for the benefit of those who are English speaking. To study the foundation of the fiqh in Islam. So the author of this book is one of the well-respected scholar from the school of the Shafi'i, and his name is Duya Uddin Abdul Malik Ibn Yusuf Al Juwaini Al Shafi'i. This Imam uh, wrote. Uh, books about the usul of fiqh, but this is one of the famous book that is well respected among the scholars of the fiqh, especially the school of Shafi'i and in general all the four schools. The Imam was born in Nisabur uh, in Iran, and he died there at the age of 57, and uh, 468 after Hijra. The, uh, this Imam uh, did great work as a uh, basis of the Islamic jurisprudence that we need to understand, especially this, these days, 21st century, that people need to understand basis of the fiqh that can help them to understand the rulings of Islam. So let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf muslim. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam. Ajma'in. The Sheikh started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alameen. So everybody who has the book, the metan or the text of the book, can follow me uh, with step by step that I'm following the book, inshallah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidi al-Mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam ajma'een, wa ba'd, then Shaykh said, هذه ورقات تجتمل على معرفة فصول من أصول الفقه. He said, starting from the beginning, this Pamphlets included على معرفة فصول من أصول الفقه study of foundation of jurisprudence in Islam. So then he started فصل وذلك أي لفظ أصول الفقه. Then he saying that he meant the usul al-fiqh. Mu'allafun min juz'ain. It composed two parts. So, ahaduhuma usul wal-akhar al-fiqh. So, usul al-fiqh. It has two parts. One part is usul, which is, he will explain later on, it's jama' as. So, the plural of foundation. So usul is foundations. So, and then the other part is al fiqh, which is jurisprudence. So for al asl means like the base. So asl, al huwa so ka mufrid or the as a single or singular, it meant like for asl means like base or the base. 
of the foundation. ما يبنى عليه غيره والفرع ما يبنى على غيره. So he is explaining the meaning of al asl, which is the opposite of al far. He says al asl means uh, the according to the istilah uh, means uh, the fiqh. It is foundation and the base, meaning ma yubna alayhi ghayru. The word asli is the base that you build something on it. So you have the foundation, you have the base. So when you have base, so that base itself is asli, the root. So the example that you can he, he gives is the 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 share. Uh, for example he says the tree has a root so that tree that root is under the ground and the branches are on the tree on the root so here al asl the foundation is the base like the root but wal far which means like the branches or fara itself is the branch, is whatever is on the base. So which one is the base, the foundation, is us. Which one is the fara, is whatever is over or on the base. So that's simply what it means. Well, fiqh, the other part, so that's, that was the meaning of us and fara. Well, fiqh. <coughs> then he is explaining the meaning of fiqh. Ma'rifatul ahkam al sharia al lati tariquha al ijtihad. So he is explaining what is the fiqh. So the fiqh is the legal, the, uh, is study or knowledge, ma'rifa. Ahkam al sharia is the uh, legal rulings which are reached through ijtihad. So the legal rule is, is whenever you say like a salah wajib, the salah is wajib, means like is mandatory to pray, obligatory rulings. So when you say like two raka'ah after uh, salat al isha, after the prayer of isha is sunnah, that means it's recommended, recommended, that is ruling. When you say like eating pork or consuming pork is prohibited. It's one of the ruling in Islam. So those al ahkam al those Sharia rulings, uh, the way that you reach that conclusion, what's, whether it's haram or not, that itself is that study of reaching to the conclusion whether things or actions are halal or haram is called like al fiqh so that's why he's saying like fiqh, fiqh is ma'rifa study or knowledge al ahkam al sharia the legal rulings allati tariquha al ijtihad which is the way you reach that conclusion is through the legal reasoning or independent independent reasoning that bring you to the point that you say this is haram or halal so well, ahkam here he go, he went to the next fasl or next cha uh, chapter if you want to call it it says al ahkam al sab'ah al ahkam al sharia what are al ahkam al sharia so al ahkam al sharia sab'atun they are seven and those seven we list sab'ah number 1 al wajib mandatory rulings wal mandub which is recommended rulings, wal mubah, which is permissible rulings, wal mahdur, the forbidden rules, wal makruh, disapproved rulings, was sahih, valid rulings, and each one I will explain and define with examples, wal batil, invalid. Uh, rulings so 
for that reason he said for fiqh al-ilm bil wajib wal mandub ila akhir as-sab'a so the study of fiqh is about having knowledge about what's mandatory what is sunnah what means uh, what's recommended and what's permitted what's disapproved what's for prohibited what is valid what's invalid so then he will go one after one so he will start with al wajib for al wajib he says ma yuthabu ala fi'li is the action or the act that if you do it you will be rewarded wa yu'aqabu ala tarki if you leave it if you don't do it you will be punished what is the except the example the best example is five daily prayers it's mandatory to pray it is an obligatory rulings that you must do it if you do it you get reward from Allah if you don't do it you get punished here or hereafter so number two is will mandub mandub in Arabic first ma yuthabu ala fi'li if you do it, you will get ajr, reward from Allah. Wala yu'aqabu ala tarki. If you don't do it, you won't be punished. But you will be minus. What's the example? The example is uh, praying two rak'ah after Isha. If you do it, you get reward from Allah that will go to your scale of hasanat. Your scale of hasanat that will bring you to Jannah. If you don't do it, you won't get that amount of hasanat, you will lose it. So, and there are many, many examples about recommended. Recommended and sunnah is the same, or man, al-mandu. Number three, al-mubah. Al-mubah is ma la yuthabu ala fi'li. You won't get any reward if you do it. Wala yu'aqabu ala tarki. If you don't do it, you won't get any ajr. Any so, for example, if you do it, مَالَ يُتَعُوا عَلَى فِعْلِهِ If you do it, you won't get any ajr. If you don't do it, you won't be punished. And the example is, uh, the best example is drinking water. Uh, the other example is uh, walking, to go out and walk. If you do it, so you won't get ajr or reward from Allah. If you don't do it, you won't, punish, you won't be punished. But someone might ask me a question, which is how about if my intention is to walk outside and become strong as an exercise for the sake that, uh, for the sake of Allah to perform well when I pray or to help uh, his servant is so to stay strong so if I have intention to do that will I get ajr the answer is yes you get the ajr so the next one is al-mahdur al-mahdur is uh, the prohibited actions if you do leave it you will get rewarded if you do it you will be punished and the example is consuming alcohol, drugs, and committing zina, adultery, or fornication, and, and, and so on. Well, makru, uh, makru is disapproved action. If you leave it, you will get rewarded. If you do it, you won't get punished. What's the, the example? The example is uh, staying up late unless you're studying or you have gust of your or you are with wife. There are some accept exceptions, but in general, staying up late is macro, disapproved, disliked. So leaving it, you get ajar. If you do it, you won't be punished. So Next is was sahih. Was sahih is valid uh, action. So we have 
the contracts, valid contract and invalid contract. The best example is, I would give you two best examples. One is the marriage contract, like a, a virgin young woman marrying to someone. If we have the willy, the guardian of that young woman, and we have two witnesses, that type of the marriage contract is valid. So it's called like a sahih. So what he's saying, as sahih ma yata'allaqu bihi al-nufud, al-nufud, wa yu'tadu bihi. Which means that is described, is that to which being effective, that's the nufud part, and at the same time, wa yu'tadu bihi is acceptable. And when the conditions are met, the contract becomes acceptable. You have willy, the guardian, you have the consent of the young lady, and you have two witnesses. And then the other uh, example is uh, the contract that you and you're selling your car and someone is buying your car. So you're selling, so there is ijab and qabul, which means like someone has to make offer and the other one has to accept. So if you do that, offer an acceptance and complete it is a valid contract. The opposite and the end of our lecture today is Walbatil. Walbatil is invalid. Which means the opposite of valid, which is that to which being uh, not effective, effective, and it is not, it does not have legal significant significance, it does not have like a consequence, legal consequence. And the example is if you have uh, a, a debt or loan contract with someone, and the example is I will give you one thousand dollar after two months, I want my money back with two percentage of interest. That type of a contract between you and Mr. X is invalid because it has a riba. Riba means interest. And interest, because of the interest, which makes the contract invalid. So the contract is valid. Valid means invalid. Invalid means it has no consequence in Islamic, under the Islamic law. Those are what we cover it tonight, inshallah. That is the, the lecture one or part one of the kitab and will continue inshallah.